on making education a key component to, pre to prevent Singapore athletes from using drugs. Anti-doping Singapore says the recent drug scandal involving national swimmers is a timely call to better educate sportsmen and women who will be subjected to more frequent testing in the future. Athletes could be sanctioned for anti-doping violations even if they do not test positive for a banned substance. Azam Shah tells us more. In the lead-up to the AFF Mitsubishi Electric Cup, Singapore's national footballers were reminded of the list of prohibited substances to look out for. The list is updated annually, and such education sessions also reinforce rules set by the World Anti-Doping Agency, or WADA. More frequent and better education for athletes are on the cards, and this comes after Singapore's national swimmers confessed to consuming controlled drugs, including cannabis. This incident is quite timely because um, there is now a global push, and in anti-doping Singapore as well, to push uh, education to the forefront of the anti-doping strategies. The World Anti-Doping Agency has now made education mandatory and I guess, you know, you could say that this incident has underscored the need for that in many ways. The swimmers were not sanctioned as the consumption of some controlled drugs outside of competition is currently not prohibited. They also tested negative for banned substances. But it's not always just about testing. I think a lot of athletes tend to look at the anti-doping rule violation as only having a positive test. But in, in reality, uh, there's a whole section uh, with about 11 or so different violations, um, including possession, including um, uh, what we call whereabouts uh, failures, where if you're on a registered testing pool, you do not declare your whereabouts, um, including um, um, aiding even prohibited association with another athlete who's been found to be doping. Since 2012, 17 athletes have been sanctioned. 15 tested positive for banned substances, while one was caught trafficking. Another refused to submit a sample collection. To further safeguard athletes, Sports Singapore comes into play in areas like their nutrition and diets, for example. For the nutrition team, for example, uh, they would ensure that uh, whatever knowledge or, or updates from anti-doping uh, is shared with our athletes. Uh, our athletes are educated on ensuring that if they were to consume supplements under the guidance of our dietitians, they are batch tested. That's really, really important. Uh, and also, of course, you know, our athletes understand that they need to exercise personal responsibility uh, when looking at supplementation. Athletes will face more frequent testing in the future. WADA has approved a cheaper and more convenient method called dried blood spot testing in addition to existing tests.